Hello everyone and welcome to part three of the conversion from uh, vacuum tubes to complete solid state. In the last video we were able to show you that uh, we had uh, a certain stage of completion. We were about 90% complete. Uh, we're 100% complete right now. The radio has been tuned up and aligned. Um, the RF front end and as well as the IFs. Um, so this is what it looks like at the top. All tubes removed. Let's turn it around and uh, we did add the power cord. And uh, notice there's no AC power switch. I decided to go ahead and put the power switch in the front, uh, actually on the sensitivity control on the front panel so it turns the power, AC power off to the transformer on and off. So what we have up front here, we got the antenna input. There's the antenna tuning control right here. It's uh, across the antenna and ground. Uh, here we have the output, the audio output. It is not sufficient enough to drive a speaker, so you'll have to use an amplifier in conjunction with this audio output. It's about two volts. Um, this is no longer the volume control. This is called now the sensitivity control. Reason for that is uh, you get a very strong overloaded, overloaded signal. It's overloading the radio. You can reduce the gain by simply lowering it. And it also comes in handy for uh, adjustment, adjusting single side NCW versus AM, and I can show you that uh, in the next video of the operation of this set. Um, here, speaking of uh, CW single sideband, AM is at the bottom. Uh, CW uh, turns on the BFO for CW and single sideband. Uh, interesting thing about this radio, this radio originally uh, with vacuum tubes had no AVC. Uh, there's now AVC in the design that Charles Smith uh, uh, put together. Uh, when it's down for uh, AM reception, it also uh, activates the AVC. Of course, here we have the tuning dial. Uh, this radio tunes uh, 6 to 9.1 um, megahertz. Okay, so let's take a look underneath. Uh, radio is completed, like I said. Um, and there we have the RF tuning units in place. Uh, the BFO again right here, uh, everything, there's the little um, DC regulator uh, and is set for 24 volts to power the radio. So this is basically what it looks like. Uh, I got all the RF chokes in there, the transistors are all in there. Um, not much else to say from the last video, it's just completed, the wiring is complete. And we left in the, uh, the little neon uh, tube here. Uh, that, according to the manual, is for any RF overload from uh, adjacent strong RF signals. Uh, uh, I left it in. I guess it can't hurt, being that the, this is transistorized. But uh, it's supposed to trigger on about 80 volts of RF coming into the antenna. And uh, I guess it was for the protection of the radio. So um, we're going to fire this thing up in the next video. And the reason why I'm not gonna fire it up now, it's early in the afternoon. Basically there's not much on, if anything. The hams are not fired up yet and the AM uh, shortwave stations are not fired up yet. So uh, we'll check it out a little bit later and uh, give you another final video. So, uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to request, uh, ask those questions at the bottom of the video. And we'll get back and we'll give a little demonstration, see how it works. Okay, thanks for watching.